guys, Tiffany with another video and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be all about my March favorites. Yes, we have reached the end of March and it is like on to the next. I always watch favorites videos and I see so many people like, oh my gosh, like why is time going by so fast? And I'll just be like, girl, pump your brakes. I prayed for this, okay? As soon as y'all president got in office, I was like, Lord, please let the next four years go by super fast. And he is answering my prayers, asking you shall receive. <laughs> I didn't bring you guys a current beauty favorites towards the middle of the month not because I don't have a lot of things that I was loving but I've just been like so so busy y'all know it is track season my son runs track he is currently number two in the state of Georgia in the 400 meter as far as high school um, athletes go and that again is number two in the whole entire state of Georgia he's number one in the region but as far as the state he's number two so that is a really big deal he is killing it out here we are so proud of him but track takes up so much of my time he has about two track meets every week and they're always out of town so it's like on top of everything else I just don't have time but I know I for sure wanted to bring you guys my end of my favorites because I always enjoy bringing these to you guys but no more talking because I got quite a few things to show you so let's get started so first things first, I want to talk about this foundation that I have been loving. It is a drugstore foundation. It is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, Fit Me Foundation. Here is what it looks like. And of course, my dog. I promise y'all, every time I start recording, he go to acting crazy. Now this is not a new foundation at all. Like they came out with the Matte and Poreless line like quite a while ago. I remember trying it at one time and I thought it was okay, but I hated the fact that they didn't have my shade and I had to like mix two foundations and I don't care, drugstore high end, I just hate having to mix my foundations. So I never really picked it back up again after that. But then I noticed that they had like more shades and I was like, wait a minute, when did they introduce more shades to the line? So I have number 338 Spicy Brown. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today. It's a foundation I've been wearing like for the past couple of weeks and y'all, I really, really love it. I think for a drugstore foundation, this gives such a flawless finish. Um, of course, you guys know I'm combination oily, which is why I went for the matte and poreless one. But they also have like a dewy one if you have drier skin the coverage is amazing of this foundation I really like it I feel like it lasts for a really long time and yeah I've just been absolutely loving it I have two primers that I have been loving um the first is the cover FX mattifying primer I showed you guys this in my last Sephora haul I want to say I did another haul but I don't know if it'll be uploaded by the time this video is uploaded but I believe in the last one that should already be up I showed you this this primer is awesome like I've heard so many people rave about this and I kept meaning to pick it up but I never did I really like this and I also love that it's supposed to be an anti-acne treatment so I don't always have breakouts or skin issues but for whatever reason lately my skin has just been acting real cray cray so I love the fact that this has like an acne treatment in it and I definitely can see where it has helped um, some acne issues that I've had since using this I'm gonna tell y'all how much I love this I took this when I went out of town to Florida and y'all know how I am like it only makes it in my makeup bag if I know it's like tried tested and true and this primer definitely fits the bill it does a really great job at keeping my face matte I don't really notice anything like as far as like pores or um, blurring out anything but it does exactly what it's advertised for and that is to keep me mad so I have been loving it this next primer is from Bosha this is the no pores no shine t-zone treatment here is what it looks like um it does come with a pump on it I picked this up like a while ago but I love this I actually like mixing the two of these primers together now this one does keep me matte don't get me wrong but I don't know like the combination of the two is really awesome but this primer is really great by itself it just does a really good job at keeping me matte but I also love how this blurs out my pores like I applied this and I definitely could see a difference in how my pores look they're not as noticeable they don't look as large so this this is really, really amazing. I've been loving a lot of things from the Bosha line lately, but I was really, really impressed with this. Matter of fact, this is one of the products that I picked up that made me want to try out some more of the Bosha products. So I've been loving it. 
Really quickly, I want to talk about brows. I've been doing some things different with my brows lately. A lot of you guys have noticed because you've been comment commenting about it in the comment section. One of the products that I feel has definitely made a difference in my brows is the MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. I have mine in the shade Deep Dark Brunette and that is what it looks like. I still use a pencil because again, you guys know like I don't have full brows on their own so I still have to like use a pencil to define out my brows but instead of filling it in with the pencil I'll go in and fill it with this brow gel cream it lasts like all day I really love it if you guys want a quick like brow tutorial definitely let me know in the comment section and I'll bring it to you because other than this I've you know changed up a, a couple of different things with my brow routine so if you guys want to see it let me know but I really love this and I'm normally not a fan of brow creams they they just don't last to me but this one does a really good job like it stays put once you apply it and I don't have any issues with the budging smudging moving nothing I loves it so next up is concealer and now I recently picked up this concealer again I know it's in the last haul video that I recorded I just don't think it is uploaded yet but it is the new NARS soft matte concealer I have mine in the shade medium dark 2.5 chestnut now this one is actually like basically my skin tone color but I wanted that because I wanted a concealer that wasn't for highlighting um, that's something I could just use on an everyday basis this is definitely that concealer I know a lot of people have been raving about the NARS radiant creamy concealer so NARS decided to come out with a matte version of their concealer y'all this concealer is everything i definitely have to say thank you to my friend mimi beauty by benji here on youtube she talked about it she showed it i thought it was absolutely gorgeous on her so i picked it up i've been so in love like i'm so in love that i want other shades like i want more of like highlighter shades because the coverage of this concealer is just amazing it dries down to a matte but it just like I don't know like a lot of times with matte concealers I feel like they have a tendency to like crease over time this one just does nothing like it just looks flawless all day I promise you I have been wearing this non-stop I love this definitely definitely check it out I would say you're better off kind of playing around with the shades in store um, because I was gonna go with a different shade but I would have been so wrong so I did go around and play with them in store and that's how I picked up this one but if you are my skin tone um, again this one is medium dark 2.5 chestnut it's like the perfect everyday your shade type of concealer and I love it. Well, I want to talk about nails really quickly. I feel like I don't really talk about nails. I used to kind of have like manicure Monday but I stopped doing that like a long time ago but a lot of you guys have been asking me about like nail polish recommendations um, and things like that. If you don't know I don't wear false nails. Um, every time you see me with like nails these are just my regular nails. It's just more convenient for me to wear my regular nails so I try to keep them as healthy as possible. Possible. Um, but the color that I'm wearing is actually one that I have been loving. I was wearing it on my toes, but then I was finally was like, you know what, let me just try this on my nails. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy Longwear Nail Enamel in the color Full House. So this is what it looks like. And again, this is the color that I'm wearing on my nails. I think this is such a like hello spring type of color it just screams I don't know like springtime to me I feel like it's just the perfect transition from winter type of shade and again I've just really really been loving this like I said I was wearing it on my feet but then I was like you know what let me just paint my nails and see how it comes out and again I do my own nails I don't go to like a shop or anything like that but a quick dry top coat that I have been loving and I try out so many quick dry top coats and a lot of them suck I'm not even gonna lie but this one is really good um this is the Broadway nails gel strong top coat this is what it looks like and it is a quick dry top coat I actually picked this up from Dollar Tree y'all mm -hmm. you heard me this is a dollar store um a gel polish but it just does such an amazing job it lasts like I feel like my nails last longer when I use this as opposed to some of the other like quick dry top coats that I use it's not as quick drying though um, the one by Sally is a really good one if you want like instant drying. This one you still got to wait like a minute or two before it dries down completely. But I love how it just keeps my nails from like chipping or anything like that. So it's definitely a favorite of mine. So next up I want to show you guys a brush that I've been loving. Um, This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. 
This is their number 105 brush. It's from their new brush line, the what is it called? Like the precise or the precision brush line or something like that. You guys know it's a lot more expensive. These brushes start out at like $10 or something. This brush is gorgeous for contouring. Like it just does the best job at like getting in my fat cheekbones and like hollowing out like a contour or like a bronze line. Like I just love this brush so, so much. I think it said you could use this brush for cream and powder products. I tried it on a cream product and I don't feel like it blended it out the way I wanted to, but for powder, what? It's amazing. And then as always, you guys know, I like to bring you my book and my song of the month. I don't have a book of the month. I read a book, um, it was like a series book. I don't even remember the name of it. That should tell you guys like how much I didn't like it. It was like the third book in a series. The second one was dry, so I should have known, but I, I'm just the type of person I need to finish out a series. So I read the third one and it wasn't all that great. If I could remember the name or find the book, I think I left it in Florida. I'll like leave it on the screen or down below, but child, it wasn't good at all. But definitely, if you guys have anything that you were reading or something you think I would love, let me know down below in the comment section because I need to pick up some new books and I don't really have an idea of what direction I want to go in. But Beyonce and Jay-Z hooked up with my favorite DJ, which is DJ Khaled, came out with this song. I think they came out with this song the night of the Grammys or like around the same time that Beyonce announced that she was pregnant with twins. So it just like all went hand in hand and this has been my jam. That has been my song. Like, that song just reminds me of, like, the old skating rink days. You know what I mean? Like, that's a skating rink song. Like, I just want to throw my skates on and just go spinning around in circles and doing all kind of tricks that I'll probably be paying for the next day when my back is hurting and everything is hurting. And I'm just like, why did I think I was young and I'm not? But either way, like, I love that song. Like, every time I hear it, it just, like, gets me in the mood. I turn it up and I'm just, like, jamming. And it's a really great song and I've really been loving it. But that is it for my favorites for the month of March. I really have a lot more stuff to show y'all, but I just didn't want this video to be too long. Plus, I really need to get up out of here. But that definitely means that I will be bringing you guys a current favorites for the month of April. Because I'm probably going to carry over some of the items that I didn't show you for April. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let me know down below what are some of the things that you guys have been loving. I noticed at some point Alani snuck up in her snuck up in her so <laughs> let me know what you guys have been loving for the month don't be coming up here with that hair looking like that uh -uh, uh 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 you need to get your hair done so come up in here unless you're ready to get your hair done mm -hmm. but definitely let me know down below what are some of the things that you guys were loving for the month of march that way if it's something that i need to check out i definitely can as always thank you guys so much for rocking with me i say all the time my channel would not work if it wasn't for you guys so thank you thank you thank you i truly appreciate it we're growing you guys are getting the word out there and i'm just so grateful and thankful but until next time bye youtube